Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. We left off here in Festival Village. Did we? If we did, we're here now. Yeah, we did leave off here, that's right. I was messing with the sounds. I figured out one solution that may seem to help, but my computer actually crashed eight times. I counted it. Eight fatal errors that caused it automatic restart. I'm trying to solve this sound issue, so we're gonna make do with what we have. And we gotta go get our mermaid powers. And then go do the awesome submarine castle, and then have another impact moment. You know what that means. Gotta brush up on the Japanese so you can sing along. I don't know, maybe for the last one I'll put all the lyrics on screen. I'm not gonna sing though, that would ruin it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I already know, I'm gonna dub over the full song. As long as it fits, I don't know, the game might be shorter. Cause you know how it sings the first verse? And then you just go into the combat thing. But here we are, the waterfall of Kegon or something. Uh, looking for mermaid applicants. Yes, I do. Are you ready, Ante Blue? Do you want instructions? No, I actually, I, I don't. I'm fine. I'm fine now. <laughs> like Tommy Boy when he comes flying out of the airplane bathroom, he's like, it's okay, I'm fine. Everything's okay now. I'm, I'm fine now. But yeah, we just tap A and try to avoid these things. These things. Stop it. My strategy is go where the last one was. Oh, yeah, well, it kind of worked. Beautifully done! Your gracious swimming skills are like that of the mermaid princess. She's got nothing on me, how's it taste? But now that we have that, we've got all kinds of fortune dolls, and I have decided. I looked up a video, and this game is not nearly as big as I thought it was back in the day when I used to rent it all the time. Maybe it's because Breath of the Wild happened and there's never been anything bigger. That's not true, there's probably like Red Dead Redemption's big. The Grand Theft Auto games have been relatively big. Point is, things have gotten bigger since the N64. So whereas this was a giant walk all over the place collectathon back in the day, it's kind of babyish now in terms of difficulty and time consumption. Yeah, just this little underwater passage, and then we got a golden fortune doll. But yeah, we'll wait till we get Sasuke's ability too, and then we'll go fortune doll cleanup mode. Cause this is how we do it. There's no way to go faster, unfortunately. It's no Zora mask. But it's a lot prettier. Those polygons, baby. And this underwater, look at this. Just delete everything. Make it look like the sky. The water is literally one layer. That's awesome. Actually, it's not so awesome because I like underwater stuff, but it's crazy. The N64, though, if you want to understand game design, all you got to do is look at the N64 because it's the most basic thing. Like when the wise man's house exploded, you easily could see how they do that. But, uh, yeah, there's a fortune doll down here. That's the only reason why I jumped off. But yeah, the wise man's house, when it was exploding and shrinking into the ground, it wasn't shrinking into the ground despite what your childhood imagination believed. They were just moving the object under the map. And maybe shifting its uh, x-axis or something, so that it looked like it was wiggling side to side and collapsing. And that's just funny when you think about it. I don't know. I was never one of those people, but... You know, the kind of people who have a toy, and they don't really play with it, they just want to know how it works, and they break it all apart and figure it out? That was never me, I just wanted to have fun. But when you take the time to actually try to understand, it is interesting. And that's like the most basic trick, though. Shrinking models and moving them and hiding them. But I don't know, all I know is now we are a mermaid, so... The sound seems to be doing alright. What I did in Project 64 was I unchecked the box for Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon settings explicitly that, um... Has fixed audio timing. It defaults to on, but I got rid of that crap. And now I don't hear it going. Pff, pff. But it was sometimes, so it's not a true fix. It's definitely my laptop. 
But now we could go under this awesome pond and wait until you see what's beyond this place. Get ready. Oh my gosh, it's more of the same! Nah, no, it's, it's, it's great though, because the music is awesome, and... This is actually more special than it looks, because there's a fortune doll... Which increases our hearts by one. And why not? I'll show you what's in here. We'll make use of this at the very end of the game. This is a very special armor shop. You can buy extra lives, which I don't know why you would do that. And then gold helmet and gold armor. It's like the best armor in the game. I believe they protect you against eight hits each of their prospective, or respective rather. Damage types, direct attacks and shot damage. How about we shut up and listen to the music? See, man. Doesn't always work. Seems like every time you're trying to deactivate either dwarf mode or mermaid mode, you get that bah, 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 bah noise until it finally works. I don't know what that's all about. But here we go to Mount Fear to the submarine. We all live in a sushi submarine because it's delicious. Actually, we already have been over how I feel about sushi, but I haven't tried it. I would like to go to Japan, though, and have one of those awesome whoop, people who follow you around and help you out because they know Japanese and you don't. But have a good one of those that you can trust. And as long as I'm guaranteed my health, like, I don't want to eat anything weird and then be, like, sick the whole time. That would be interesting. That's one of my dreams, is to travel all over the place. Well, you got to be kind of successful to do that. That's right, we gotta break the switch and open the, the floodgate. Wait, this is where the submarine is. I don't know, I thought there was another body of water out here or something. But get ready, man. Anything else? Oh, it is kind of farting, isn't it? Stop it! Oh well, it's probably the ROM too. I did also try playing it on my old laptop. I thought maybe it's just the beginning of the game that the old one can't run. But I got to that uh, waterfall section and it was like <laughs> making all kinds of noise and barely running. It's like, all right, screw that idea. <laughs> this song, by the way, there was on Windows 3.1, there was an educational program where you got to put different textures on a dinosaur and there was one really scary part where you got to tour around this 3D maze. Like, you remember that screensaver where the maze kept going around that brick wall and it never finished, but you would just stare at the screensaver and it would go to a dead end and you'd watch it turn around and go try to find another way around the maze? That screensaver was awesome. But the game was like that, but it was all science-y and health-related. That's what it was. It was stuff about the body. Here we go, a fortune doll right here and the submarine is right around the corner. But yeah, this, it was a song very similar to this but there was slides of all this stuff related to health and there was a demonstration of a heart attack and it showed a heart like pumping and then dying and I got so scared of that I didn't like it. So while this is supposed to be a peaceful song, I don't like it because it brings back that memory. But this! Okay, second recording here. Uh, I think this is where we left off. Whoa, geez, don't go out of the propeller. This is awesome, though. I'm gonna pretend like I'm just going the same, but you may notice my money might be different. I don't know where I left off. I started playing this really badly, so I decided to scrap the recording and try this dungeon again. So, splicing two video files here is what we're doing. But anyway, this is one of my favorite dungeons in the game, because the music, once again, the music, dude. This is part one, though, kind of mellow, but what's really cool is the ambiance of this place, too. We're jumping on giant sushi to get to Mr. Elephant. I missed Mr. Elephant. That's okay. As long as I don't keep missing this jump. I got lost. I made it very far in this dungeon, and I was doing commentary and everything. And then I got lost at the end. I couldn't find the boss room, and I didn't want that to happen, so I scrapped the recording. I don't, I don't know, a bit of a perfectionist or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, this, I didn't know what to do when I first came into this room, but you can make that jump. Yeah, look at this. What are these, giant square rice cakes or something? There are rice cakes later on. This room, too. Is this the one? No, this is, we don't even have to be in here, but we'll do it. I could actually, I went to, uh, words. Um, my brother-in-law and I, I guess about two years ago now, we went to this ninja steakhouse. It's like a Japanese steakhouse. And I remember that food was amazing. I could have ate more though, that's the thing. It was like small portions. We're back in this room, that's right. I did that the other time too. Ah, well. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just all this Japanese stuff being thrown at my face. Has me craving it. Expensive though, that's the thing. But yeah, this room is the one that when I first passed through here, I didn't know what to do. I didn't realize these were rising platforms to jump on. I don't do too much stuff with my brother-in-law. I mean, he's always working. There's a few standout memories with that guy. One was when he came in and we were playing the Wii. But he came in, he didn't really want to play it, he wanted to talk to me. So we started to play a game and then that's when he was like, I'm gonna propose to your sister. I was like, that's awesome! And then we just kind of, sort of played the game, but... You could tell, like... Him especially, and a little bit me too, had other things on our mind at that point. I guess that was his way of bonding with me or whatever. So there's that memory, that was like one of a me and him moment, I guess. And then that steakhouse is really the only other one I can think of. Or just like moments where he was just kind of fed up with the usual routine or whatever and decided to hang out with me. Nuts, I thought I could make that. 1585, we're really running low on money, man. We need a lot of it coming up after this dungeon, too. But I believe we're coming up on the part two music, so it's gonna get way better, and then part three's music is just one of my favorites in the entire game. <laughs> I said that a lot, too. Oh, yeah, the soup room. Look at this stuff. I don't know what that is, a little square rice cake again. I don't know, this is just such a unique concept. What other games are you jumping around on food? Actually, Duke Nukem Forever. Here we go. And now we're swimming in some kind of a soup. I love the bass line. I love the flute, whatever it is. This is awesome. I, I don't know what it is. Sorry, I'm just enjoying the music. It's just so peaceful, man. Definitely the best dungeon song in the entire game to me. Well, and see, that's the problem. They're all so good. Sorry, yay. I really don't want to talk over this because it's just cherries. It's a very short loop too, but it's good. That means it gets to this part a lot faster. Uh, over here, in the distance, you can see two rows of dumplings, and there's a little cherry cake back there, but no fortune doll or anything, so we don't actually have to go over there. It's very nice. I don't know, just very few games embrace this food environment type of thing. I mean, I guess Kirby does, but this is something else. But yeah, Duke Nukem Forever. I don't have that game or anything. I watched LGR's review of it, I think. And he was going on about, it was there, was, there was a really cool moment where Duke Nukem shrank down and he was in like a kitchen and suddenly like shelves and stuff be and cans became props, the way that you would hide behind a wall or something. 
It might have been like a Tom and Jerry video game fighting in the kitchen or something. Whoa, what is that guy doing? Launching. There's the gold key. I'm hungry, man. Thinking about that. The rice, mostly. Just any kind of stir fry. Oh, here's a bazooka for yay. The yay bazooka. Shoot enemies from a distance at the cost of money, of course. Hold down B for lock on bazooka. Alright. It didn't switch to part 3's music, did it? I don't think so, not yet. Let's try the lock on shot. Eh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's really worth it, but we'll use it for these guys. I only have brown rice, that's very disappointing. I have nothing to really spice it up, either. It's one problem with being awake at night and stuff. Nothing's open. I would love to just go out and just go sit. Me and, like, the, the employee, I always like that. I don't know, I just like talking. I guess I'm in a mood where I would sit at a bar and talk to the bartender or something. But it's better when it's somewhere where they don't expect that. When I mean, you're just at a restaurant. This is the room I got lost in. Well, like, after this part, though, I mean. Because, see, there's an elevator there, but that's the elevator we came in on, remember? That long elevator at the entrance? Now this... Use the wind-up camera to reveal the hidden path. We haven't used this dude in a while. Feels like he's just lost in the pocket somewhere. That's the thing about the second game. I believe... Well, actually, I don't know. Never mind. I was gonna say, I thought each character gets heavy use. But I don't think so. I think you could really just stick to one character if you wanted to in that game. That's just dumplings. We don't need that. Rice cakes! Oni! <laughs> That's an awesome noise. You're getting the meat hammer because I want some dumplings. Oh, they didn't drop! They did on the first run through here! As the key was spawning, I heard the health pickup noise. Here we go! Given the music its moment, because it deserves listening to. As I said, this is definitely one of my favorites in the entire game. But I know I've said that multiple times, it's just... This one, I think, truly is. I guess I get in one of those lists where they're like, you can only pick one song from one game. Which would you pick? This might be that one, I don't know. It's so hard though, because the Final Castle music is great. The Impact song is great. We're gonna hear the Impact song! Why are we here? That's right, it just dumps back into here, because it's telling you you're supposed to go back, I think. I still haven't found the door. Uh, but there's something else. I'm missing something that I had. Good spot to grind money, though, and they do that for a reason, because we owe a guy a ton of money after this dungeon. Uh, I like this one, too. Hopping on soup. We'll just get... 1811, getting back up there. There's a room somewhere with a diamond key in it, but I don't remember where I got that. It's right here, I think. Yeah, see, I don't remember when I picked up a silver key. The first time I did it, this time I don't remember where I got it either, but here we go, this is what I was thinking of, wind up camera. 
Bucky back, oh, bop. <laughs> I don't know what he says, but it's awesome. Look at that silver mallet. The diamond key. We're ready. And this is about as far as I got the first time, and then I didn't know where the diamond door was. And I still don't. But the song's awesome. So. I guess we gotta go back to the big lake room. Ride the soup back. Corleone! Because this just goes... This goes back to the money room. Well, whatever, we could get some more. Yeah, I want stir fry, man. Steak, chicken, shrimp. Shrimp fried rice. Let's look at the map. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not really helpful at all. <laughs> there is something up here. I didn't see this before. It's a dwarf hole. Okay. Wow, it worked the first time. Candy? <laughs> Every time. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll go forward. Looks like you could grow and jump off there, but... Oh, this is that room again. Wait, I did see this in a video the other day. It's not a fortune doll, though. Yeah, it's just an extra life. Well, what the heck? Where is the diamond lock? Is it back by the soup room? It might be. Wow, sure enough, the soup room on the conveyors. And that's it, this is the boss. Right? Oh yeah, I love when it kicks me back in like that. Please don't interrupt the music. Nuts! Well, yeah, it's a very short dungeon, actually, if you don't get lost like I did. Oh, look at this dude, he's black. Oh, Poron. You have finally made it as far here to see me, the mighty Poron. Do you ever give up? I sense you are a die-hard fan of mine. I've come here not to see you, but to find the miracle item. You're saying not for me, but the miracle? Is that so? Tsk, tsk, it's too bad. Last time I was in the Kanzai region on a vacation, I dropped it somewhere in the Zazen town. <gasps> You've gotta be kidding! Well, if he's not kidding, we must return to Zazen town at once! Ah, oh, jeez. Quit your chuckling. It's not going to be that easy, La La. Lily! We're all getting in the way too often. Therefore, I'm taking you on a one-way trip somewhere far, far away. <laughs> oh no, not you too. Yes, Lala, you're invited to hell, Fernandez. Jeez, language, sir. Dancing! What are you doing here? I just thought since I've only been in a few scenes... By the way, the word scenes... has nothing to do with my name, because my name is not Dan C... Wow. <laughs> the crowd even made a boo noise. Tell us that awful joke. You've got much to learn to be a star. You've got to stand out like a sore thumb. That's not fair! Um, uh, Mr. Danson, Ms. Lily, what should I do? Ouch! Oh, uh, well, why don't you use the device to get rid of those guys? Ouch, I say. Mm, yes, sir. Anyway, goodbye, Fernandez. That's my line! What was that all about? Well, as the man says, goodbye. Switch to the on position. Bye. Wait. What is going on? T minus 30 seconds. It looks like the time bomb has been activated. Are you saying we're going to be food for the fish in a matter of seconds? It's nothing to be joking about. It's times like this when it's important to stay calm. 
do you wish to say than blow the triton shell, the horn of Gondor? Are you guys ready for this? Here we go, impact number two. Oh, it's Yay doing it this time, too. Yes! Oh, this song is awesome. I was listening to the full version. I'll dub that over, not this time, but the final one. Yeah. Move his head around. It's awesome. Oh, jeez, it was chugging. Please don't do that. The last fight went well. Hopefully this one doesn't mess up. I like this one, though. This is my favorite, uh, like, rush to the boss area. Just because of the water, really. Watch out for the ropes and the mountains and the boats. Ah, oh, nuts, the mountain just crushed me. That's right, I'm- Oh, no. Break down! I always hear that part. Yes, I always do. Out of here, mountain. Did you see that guy surfing on a barrel? That was awful. I wanna be that too. Yes, I do. I don't know what I'm saying. Dash, dash. Get out of here, airship. What are you, Bowser? Just swinging my club madly like I do in real life. You really do gotta listen to the full version of the song, though. It's amazing. There's kids singing in the background, too, and the chorus parts. Just add so much power to it. This is a cool boss, though, by the way. I like this guy better than the first one. Don't remember. I didn't watch a video. I don't remember his attack pattern, so that's fine. We don't always have to watch a video and be good at games that we were maybe okay at before. We're allowed to suck to a degree. The Charming Mermaid Tai Samba 2. There's nothing charming about that dude at all. 2,000. Somehow I did a combo with my foot just now. Didn't hit anybody. Let's just fire whatever at him. Okay. That's right. Where are you doing? Get over here. How do you miss? Oh, okay. Uh, what? I guess I didn't need to grab him. I should have punched. Come a little bit closer. Oh, are you doing it? That's right, I'm hitting something. You're getting a foot to the face. Well, pow! Maybe it's an arm. Aim for the arm. No, it's not. Where are you going? Oh, are you coming a little bit closer again? No, what are you doing? At some point, he drags you underwater, and that's awesome. Okay, I'll play this game. Uh-oh. Where are you? Studying the radar. I thought he was swimming towards me. Dodge! Dodge! Okay. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. This is awesome. I think the second game has more fights like this. But I'd play a whole game. From this perspective. Why is he not getting closer? What am I not understanding? Maybe I should have watched the video. Uh... Okay. That seems to do better than I've been doing in the last couple seconds. There we go! Finally! That's what I like to see! 1335, is that enough to bring you underwater? No. Right, 
way. I knew it was gonna swim up to me at some point. Huh? What's happening? Nothing's working. Oh, it's time. That's so cool! Now he's gonna come flying at me. Get ready! He hit me, but I hit him! Yeah! I knew he did that as soon as the very first thing, and then... Yeah, beautiful. Alright, I'm making up for the clunk in the beginning. 410. That shouldn't be... Too bad. I don't know what his attack pattern's down here, though. Okay. We're going what? Nuts. What are you doing? What are you doing? Charging at me again? Oh, nuts! He was! Man, I'm just trying to do the super punch thing. I just don't know when to start doing the inputs for it. Oh, jeez. Stop doing that. It's like launch octopus. Oh, now I can't see. That means he's gonna come flying at my face. That actually might be easy, though. Where are you? Okay, I got him. I don't... There we go. I don't know why sometimes that works and other times it just bounces off of the metal on him. It's done. Beautiful. Kind of a sloppy fight. But I didn't really remember what to do with this guy. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. The face and the ball fist coming out of the side of the screen. Holy crap! The video is gonna be long. But we did it! We're almost done with this game. I've got a movie to complete, so I must head back to France. If you need me again, au revoir. Do you wish to save? Yes, well, that'll be it for this episode. Next time we'll go find that miracle item in Zazentown. So thanks for watching, you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it still. I'll see you next time. Take care.